Hey, look out here. Look what I found. Look what we found. Look at this sweet baby. I am in love this morning. Oh. Jackson? Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Hey, Amy, this is Amy Weeks from uh, oh, yeah, Amy's Canine Kindergarten. Yeah. Good to see you again. Thank How are you? It's, it's been a long time. It's good to be here. Yeah. Um, okay, we're Everybody. talking about, we, you didn't bring the, uh, the, the, the quiet and sedate. I did not. Greyhound. Greyhound. <laughs> you brought Jackson, and uh, he's a pretty good boy, though. He is. And we're talking about walking the dog properly with the leash. What's your, what's your best advice to, on, on something like this? So my best advice, I've got a couple of tips. The first one is if you have a really active dog, you might want to take him to the backyard, burn some of that energy first, let him play fetch, let him play uh, kibble toss, throw some kibble on the ground, let him go get it. Right. Burn some of that initial energy before you hook him up because a walk, a lot of, a lot of a walk is reserved and you're having to ask the dog to hold back what yeah. they want to do. So we want to burn some of that energy prior. The second thing I always look at is try, is look at the equipment that you're using. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Jackson is on a front attachment harness. It's a harness that attaches in the front. Oh, so I if see. he goes to pull forward, I'm able to pull him back around this way. Yeah. So it gives me a lot more control and he's not able to just pull forward. So if those two things are in place, I'm going to go ahead and grab a handful of cookies or treats or something he loves. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep him pretty close to me here and I'm going to reward him as he stays close to me along the path. For those of us who have older dogs yeah. that are pullers, yeah. is it too late no, I would try. I would try changing the equipment first. You might want to start in an area that's a, a little bit less distracting for your dog. You might want to go to an area where there's a lot of concrete around and not so much grass, not so much uh, stimulus. Get them to look at you, pay attention to them so they can pay attention to you, and just teach them to walk real nicely right beside you, just rewarding them along the way. But you got to break it down to a starting point where they can be successful, yeah. and then you can move on past that. Healing. Mm -hmm. versus loose leash walking. Yeah, very good. <laughs> it's hard to say that. <laughs> what, what, what is the difference? So healing is a lot more formalized walk. The dog is supposed to stay right next to you. Like we would have seen at Westminster. Yeah, oh, That's healing. Yeah, a, little, a lot closer to you right here. Okay. If you turn left, they're going to go with you. If they turn right, right, they're not supposed to sniff or look around or anything. Loose leash walking is what you see most people do. The leash can be a little bit more relaxed. The dogs are allowed to go sniff. You just don't want your dog pulling you down the street. You want okay. both parties to have fun. All right, my dog pulls. Josephine pulls me. She yeah pulls me. Yeah. At what point is it appropriate to pull back? I don't want to hurt her. Right, right. So that's why I do I do recommend, and I know I go back to this a lot, but I do recommend looking at the equipment yeah. because the equipment gives you, as the owner, a, a, a hands up on, on a little right. bit more control. So again, when they go to pull, it's a deterrent. They're going to pull back around to you. So it's going to be easier for you to get their attention back, get them close to you, talk to them yeah. as you move forward. We got to go, but you said something a while ago that I, that I thought was interesting. They don't, I mean, I, they love to go on walk. Mm -hmm. But there's a it's not necessarily fun once they get out there because you're having to tell them no a lot. Yeah, yeah. Walks for dogs, a lot of a lot of what we do to dogs on a walk is a no. No, don't do that. No, slow down. No, don't go that way. No, no, no. So watch yourself. The walk should be fun for the dog. They should have opportunity to sniff and to smell. Yeah. But remember that it's frustrating. It doesn't come naturally to them. We're really having to teach them how to do something that the human wants. So that's what we're up against. Before we start getting the emails, he lives in a very happy home. He lives in a great home. <laughs> and, and, and what kind of dog is he? He is an Aussie Doodle. An Aussie Doodle. Yeah. You're a beautiful boy. You know that, right? Yes. You know that? Oh, I love you. Yes. Okay. If you got any questions for Amy, send an email to a good day Tampa Bay at fox.com. And to learn more about Amy, you can visit her on our website, Amy's Canine Kindergarten.com. Hey, good to see you, as you always. Too. Thanks for making the trip in. Thanks. You <laughs> He's oh, alone. Can I just I take him? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, no. His, no. <laughs> his mother would be very mad. Wow. <laughs> Never. Almost. Never. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Jen. Uh, I don't know. They better check Russell's car before you leave because that dog might be in the backseat. Oh, <laughs> good boy.